Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, on the Solana chart, um, the situation is pretty much unchanged. I have mentioned already that this current correction can unfold in numerous ways. At the moment, um, while Bitcoin is going, Ether is going, some other coins are going. Yeah, Solana is still stuck in this consolidation as it seems. At least it hasn't given us any evidence that something different, maybe something more bullish might be going on. At the moment, it seems like as if we are still caught in this B wave rally. Um, but it starts to look a bit toppy here. It starts to look a bit toppy, but I cannot confirm a top yet because micro support levels have not yet broken. So I'm still, I still keep the door open for potentially um, higher prices here in this fifth wave. We want to talk about, I think, you know, we might want to change the microstructure here, but um, it hasn't really given us any strong uh, need. You know, there's no need to do that at, th at this stage. Um, for anybody who's um, who's new on this channel, the idea is that Solana has been moving up in this diagonal structure. So in the third wave of the diagonal, basically the assumption is we could now be in this fourth wave. It's not crystal clear. It rarely is crystal clear in a wave four. Okay, So if we really are in a wave four, first of all, the correction could, should take a little bit of time. And in addition to that, um, it is probably going to be a sideways correction. You have in Elliott Wave, you know, if we had, you know, understand the Elliott Wave rules and guidelines, we also understand that there are certain guidelines around alternation of waves. Um, what does it mean? It means that, for example, if the wave two in a cycle, and this is an entire cycle, one, two, three, four, five. If the wave two is a sharp correction, then oftentimes the wave four is a sideways correction. See, it's the other way around as well. If the wave two is a sideways correction, wave four would typically be sharp. The thing is that in most cases, it really is that way around, that the wave two is a sharp correction, a so-called zigzag correction or double zigzag, triple zigzag. Uh, what that means, you can learn in our membership, but it's basically a sharp correction. The sideways corrections are oftentimes triangles or flat corrections. So it's just a different style of correction. Prices can typically either correct through yeah, a price behavior, price move, counter trend move. For example, in a way four, that counter trend is down. That counter trend move would be down because the overall trend seems to be up in a five wave move. And that wave four would be a counter trend move. And then we should carry on with the wave five. Or, well, it can do that through a counter trend move, or it can just do that over time, okay, before carrying on. So you just need to be aware of that. That is one of the reasons why a wave four can be so frustrating. Because in a wave four, in a sideways correction, it is not always clear, okay, are we still, are we still, in the previous wave, are we still in the third wave? Has the fourth wave already begun? Um, is the fourth wave already over? Okay, you know, do we, we get a we get a rally here, a breakout? Is it just a fake out? See, all of that can happen in a wave four, and you need to mentally prepare for that. You need to understand that a wave four is full of volatility typically, and a wave four can lead to fake outs and is frustrating, and it's just not as clear as a nice, um, you know, as a nice. Um, sharp correction in which people get scared okay in which people get scared we had down here a trend reversal area i'm sure a lot of people who wanted to buy didn't buy because it was a very sharp correction and then you think the bear market is back right whereas here a lot of people want to buy and they wait for a sharp pullback it might not be sharp it might just be sideways okay even though i have to say i mean we've been talking about a pullback that pullback has already shown it's like 25 percent down to the low here that is already quite significant within within just a week, okay? Um, in traditional markets, you would call that a crash. Well, in crypto, it's just nothing, but it still is something that is noteworthy and that we call a pullback. Um, it's just, I have added here and sketched out those triangle lines. Doesn't mean the market has to respect them. It's too early to really confirm a triangle or something, but I wanna make you aware of the situation that we are in a way for, yeah? and triangles are common. 
So this could this can turn into a triangle, but we'll see. We'll see how that develops. It's it's a bit too early to really confirm that. I really only have two waves or two legs. I don't have any, you know I need at least three to at least work with the triangle idea. At the moment, it's purely a possibility, but a correction, especially in a wave four, can take so many different shapes and forms. So the bottom line is though that we are still watching for a fifth wave to the upside to occur after this wave four is over. Um, the fifth wave should ideally reach $79.93 or 113 um, as targets. And also we are watching for a fifth wave rally as long as the $34.40 level is holding. A break below that level would indicate that something much more bearish is going on and that this cycle is likely already over and that Solana might have topped in three waves. That's nothing I'm primarily watching for at this stage. But we always need to know what is the level where we change our opinion and the wave count is going to change. Okay, That always has to be dictated by the market. I mean, the market has to tell us when we have to change the wave count. Right? It's not, it's not what we want. It's what the market says. Now, let's take a look at the um, shorter time frame here. I mean, primary scenario is that the wave three has topped, that we move down in a three wave move in an A wave. We move up currently in a B wave that might still stretch a little higher. And then a C wave to the downside ideally unfolds. But as I said, this could even turn into a triangle. So we have to be very flexible within these corrections. Much more important than trying to figure out the micro count in a correction is to understand what is support and that's defined here. So let's let's zoom in further. So here we see that um, in this potential B wave rally that's unfolding right now, um, there is still further scope for further upside even though um, the price is struggling. But then again, this might also turn into a triangle here. So the idea is one more high seems likely in a way five of five of C. Um, we can also change the count. I mean, I could call that a wave one, can call that a wave two, but then I would have to call this a three, this here the four, and then also it would be a one, two setup. So it wouldn't really change much. Um, just be aware that until we break below $61.80, okay, I cannot confirm or I have no indication that a top is in place. Yeah, A break below that level will make me watch or observe the structure of the decline very closely. If it's a corrective decline, then this would indicate the triangle is playing out because in a corrective decline, then this leg down would be corrective, would be another ABC structure forming a higher low and then it would do this. But if we break below $61.80 and the move down is impulsive, okay, and I see impulsive movements, then it indicates we are in this, in this C wave to the downside heading into the orange support box. It's a bit too early for that at this stage. At the moment, the main question is, do we get another extension higher? At the moment, the wave count would suggest yes, but um, it, we already reached the resistance area and the resistance area is there to, to provide resistance. Okay, so um, we'll see. I keep you updated, but for now, I think short term, as long as $61.80 is holding, um, there's still a chance to push higher in one more high. Yeah, that's what I would primarily watch for to maybe $66 or 68. Yeah, that's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. As a channel member, you get access to additional content on Discord and Telegram. Um, you get access to the chat rooms, educational content. There's a weekly live stream every Sunday. Um, in addition to that, as a gold member, you get um, access to short-term market updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.